We made it to the witch's grave and um, come out here today because I felt compelled to come back for a while now. Um, I feel pretty safe for the most part out here by myself. I know this is the cemetery where me and Patty got chased out by somebody one night, but I feel like during the day it's probably safer and I didn't have anybody to film with today, so I thought, well, I'll come out here and take a chance. Um, I've been wanting to come back because I feel like that Elizabeth, the supposed witch, might want her grave fixed. If you haven't watched the video before, it's an open grave where you can actually look into it and see her skeleton. And while some people are fascinated and want to see, other people find it very disrespectful. and. I don't know how she feels. I want to know. I want to see if she wants us to close it up or leave it open. She may not want it closed. If she's lingering out here, she may, that may be her comfort area. I don't, I don't know. So, um, figured I'd come out here, do some EVPs at her grave, see if we can make contact with her. But there's also other spirits out here that have been known to um, talk to us through the EVPs. One is a gentleman who committed suicide out here, and I'm not sure of his name. And there's a gentleman over here. I'll take y'all to his grave site who has spoke to me on numerous occasions through my spirit box. He does seem to always be here. Um, I believe he is a veteran, and he has spoke about that sometimes. Yeah, his grave is 19, no, 1831 to 1857, and I believe... And I believe he was a ca yep, captain, D.M. King. Now, I want to say that he told us his name was David before. So, we'll see if we can make contact with him also. But there are a lot, a lot of older graves out here. I thought I just saw something over there like an orb, flash of light. Hmm. Now, it's really funny because when I left my house, which is only about 15 minutes away from here, it was sunny and bright and I'm starting to feel raindrops. I think when, last time I was out here, we actually got rained on but these are a lot of older graves, 1836, died in 1905, 1856, and there are newer ones too, baby. These are 1977, and some of them are newer than that. It looks like 2012, 63, 2014, 15. Right. Um, you can look at some of these and tell. Like, look at the brick wall around this one, how old it is. 
starting to rain. Yeah, it's starting to rain. You can't even see the dates on that one. And then the one beside it doesn't have a tombstone. It's just got like a marker. And I am not sure what these little white boxes are. Y'all have asked me about that. I don't know if it's marking off plots. If that's how they tell, you know, whose plots are where, I'm not sure. These are some more older ones. Died in 1896. Died in 1867. Look at this one, how old. Yeah, it's starting to rain. Pretty hard. I'm gonna get wet. I ain't gonna melt, that's for sure. Okay. 1905. Look at this one, how pretty that is. Beautiful. 1881. She was born in 1862, died in 1881. It amazes me. I've said it before about these tombstones and the architecture, how they build them, how they did that back in the 1800s. They're actually prettier from back then than a lot of the newer ones are. That one's 1906. You can tell just how old a lot of these are. Like this. Is there anyone out here with me? My name's Stacy. I'm just here to see if I can communicate with you. Can you say your name? I'm getting a really creepy feeling right now, guys. I've twice I've thought I've caught glimpses out of the corner of my eye and it's it's kind of freaking me out a little bit, I guess, because I haven't filmed in a while by myself, but... I just feel like somebody's watching me. This is Elizabeth's grave. And down here at the bottom, you can see where the bricks are. They can be removed. Now, I'm not going to remove them today, but I am going to set my spirit box up, and I'm going to see if we can make some communication. So, here, I'll sit y'all facing this way real quick while I get out my stuff. Turn my EMF meter on. Is there anybody out here who wishes to communicate with me? My name is Stacy. 
I mean, no disrespect or no harm. Um, just wanted to come out and see if there was anyone who wishes to talk to me. Or if maybe Elizabeth is here. Is this Elizabeth? Elizabeth, I've come out to speak to you about your grave. I know that the end is open. And I don't know if you want it fixed. My husband and I would be willing to close it up for you. If that's what you want. But I'd like to hear it from you. I'm, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear what you said. I know it's hard to, to speak, but can you say open or close? I won't do anything without hearing it from you. Can you say your name for me? My name's Stacy. Can you say my name? Can you see me? Can you tell me what color shirt I'm wearing? Are you happy, Elizabeth? From the stories that go around, it was a rough life for you. I'm sorry that you had to go through that. There's, there's a lot of people who wonder if you truly were a witch or if you were falsely accused of that. Were you shot? Were you murdered? Can you show yourself? This is really strange. Are you done talking? I'm very sorry for what you went through. I am. I'm sorry for the way you were treated. And I'm just here to try and make it a... To try and make it a little bit better for you.
I'm going to walk around some. I also wanted to speak to Captain David. So if you wish to speak to me, you can follow me around the cemetery. You cannot go home with me, but you can follow me around the cemetery and speak through this box I'm holding. I'm going to leave in my meter right there while we are walking around and I want to see if there's anyone else here who'd like to speak to us. Is there any other spirits who might want to speak to me? Picking a lot of radio interference up today. I don't know why. Who else is here? How many of you are here? Am I safe out here? Hmm. I just heard something over there and then that voice comes through. Am I safe? I think that was a yes, but I'm not sure. But I'm going to cut the spirit box off for a minute because I want to be able to hear around me. Thank you for speaking to me through the spirit box. I do appreciate that. If you would like, you can still talk to me. I know it takes a lot of energy, but... All right, guys. Yeah, I didn't want the spirit box going and me walking around out here by myself and not here if there is something in those woods. Because that, right over there, is where the man come out of the woods when me and Patty were out here. I don't see anything, but... Just kind of scary when you're out here alone. Is there anybody with us? Can you say your name? We can walk over here and do a few more EVPs. I'll get away from that section and God, something keeps I keep catching a figure out of the corner of my eyes. That's the third time and it has scared me. And I feel very uneasy out here now. I don't, 
I don't know why. Maybe it's because me and Patty were chased out of here before. I don't know if there's anything out here with me or not, but sit y'all down for a minute. I'm going to put my stuff up. I don't know if there's anybody out here, spirit-wise, because I don't see anybody. But I have caught figures out of the corner of my eyes, kind of like they say shadow figures does, where you see it just for a split second. I don't know. It's kind of creepy, guys. Usually, Really, usually cemeteries don't bother me, especially during the day, but today it's just kind of got me. And it could be, like I said, um, because I haven't been out filming by myself in so long, it could be that... I hope y'all are hearing this. I hope the camera's picking it up. This is my new camera and I'm not sure how it's... Sorry guys, my camera cut off right as I asked that question and um, I don't know why it cut off, but... Okay, are you the gentleman who committed suicide after your wife's death? I'm sorry to hear about your wife. Sorry you had to go through that. These, he used a shotgun, guys, and if you look, I don't know if you can see the holes where he shot himself at. He was so devastated over the loss of his wife and loved her so much, he just said he couldn't go home. And she was buried here, and he would come out here and sit by her grave a lot, and um, unfortunately decided to end his own life because he was so depressed. And as tragic as that is that that happened, I have to say it's it's a love story. It's, you know, he loved her. He loved her so much. There's a plane flying overhead too, guys. All right, guys. I think that's going to conclude it for this video. I um, haven't heard anything or seen anything lately. I don't know if the spirits that were here moved on or if we even called anything. I do believe we caught something, but um, haven't heard anything right here recently, so maybe they're done talking to me. But anyway, I wanted to say thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, subscribe, please. I apologize about the way the videos have been lately with me being sick but I promise that I will get back on it and I will hit it hard I will come out with some epic content for y'all I know next weekend me Patty Clay and Heather all have a weekend plan together to go film and then in October we have some plans we're gonna do so um, can't wait to do that it's always fun when we all get together so if you haven't checked their channels out, make sure you do. Patty with the G-Team Paranormal, Heather with Heather's Honings, and Clay with Time to Play TV. Awesome, all three of them, awesome content. But 
I am going to go now. Hopefully when I get home and listen to EVPs, Elizabeth will tell me what, you know, she wants done with her grave and we can help her out. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you being here. Take care and I will see you on the next road trip. Bye, guys. Much love.